wrap it in the American flag. For some of my partners who are not from the United States, uh, I see y'all chiming in from, from England, uh, wrap it in the Union Jack. I see y'all coming in from Italy. I don't even know what y'all call your flag out there. Wrap it in the Italian flag, I guess. Um, my boys down in, in Nairobi and Kenya and Ghana coming over and everybody from the Caribbean. Um, you know what I'm saying? And my Boricua buddies down there in the PR. You know what I'm saying? Uh, wrap it in whatever flag y'all got. But this this is actually something that I got from an older cat when I was sitting in New York. Um, and, and just like the, the you know, the uh, little quick hits I told you about, I've always asked cats about money. I'm not really ashamed to uh, uh, for people to explain things for me. I'm really much more the kind of cat that, that wants to know the angle. I might not ever go into being a car dealer, you dig? But I want the salesman skills from a car dealer. I might not ever go into uh, uh, throwing a club, you know, sponsoring a club, but I want to know, you know what I'm saying, uh, how to make people feel comfortable in their surroundings. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm really trying to accumulate skills, you know what I'm saying, so I can be, you know, perfected in the hustle. So, you know what I mean? No matter the situation, no matter what it is, I'm trying to figure out the skills and build a, a good building block and a pattern to it. And I'm not close to finish, you know what I'm saying? But I just wanted to share with y'all this, this time uh, really about um, how to, you know, what I always say is the mentality of money. You know what I'm saying? Most of the time on the rise and grind, I'm trying to open your eyes to the hustles. Most of the time, I'm trying to make you stop uh, uh, defeating yourself. Um, you know, stop putting people on these godly pedestals like, you know what I'm saying? When, when Donald Trump talks, the world listens. You know what I'm saying? And all this stuff, when all they did, partner, was really read a book. But, uh, you know, bringing it back to what this one's about. This one is wrapping it in the American flag. And I was sitting down with this cat in New York. This is when I first started. You know what I'm saying? This is first, you know, before the hustle popped, before everything started. I used to go to a lot of these, you know, I'm not going to call them meetings, but, you know, they have, like, black professionals and, you know what I'm saying, black this. Because I was really about it, partner. I don't mean that. I just mean, you know, uh, to hell with all the dumb stuff that everybody else felt uncomfortable with. You know, if this cat made chips, I was listening. You're lucky I wasn't tape recording it. You understand what I mean? So one cat sat down with me. Um, and most of these cats are snobbish sometimes and they look down on you. But you know what I'm saying? Uh, money over matters. You dig? I ain't even going to tell you to put your mind over the matter. Put your chips in while you're there over all these stupid matters that everybody else get caught up with. He's snobbish. He looked down on me. He don't like me. He don't, you know, he thought I didn't know what I was talking about. I, I learned to refine the game and stay focused like a laser on what I came to get. Whenever I talk to somebody, uh, you can call me uh, a, a dirty old uh, gangbanger looking. I don't care what you're calling me, man. I'm about the chips. I'm about listening. So this cat really put me up on game when it came to rapping in the American flag. And what that's primarily about is when you talk about chips, okay, when you out here really trying to explain game to people, you can talk to them in a way that just because we're talking about money, that most of these cats are going to get offended. You understand what I mean? They're going to think you really, you know, you a snob, you greedy, you, you this, you that, you know what I'm saying? You, uh, you know what I'm saying? You think you all that, um, you only did it once. You act like you the ambassador of it. You know what I'm saying? But that's because, and don't get me wrong, that happened to your boy Freeman plenty of times because I didn't learn to refine the conversation that I was doing, but that's why I'm here to spread game for you today on this, this topic. Uh, the cat used to tell me, wrap it in the American flag. And at first I was like, what you want me to be patriotic and saluting people and hot dogs and you know what I'm saying? And, and, uh, Mount Rushmore with the hustle, you know what I'm saying? I, I didn't figure what he was saying, but it marinated over a while in the crock pot pot. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? It started to bubble and, uh, I started to get what he was telling me. It took me a couple of years. So I don't want y'all to ever think that I was sitting here understanding this game. What he told me, I didn't get it. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm coming out with the raw. I'm trying to make chips. Anybody who, who ain't who against me, you know, you know what, what they're going to get, you know, deal with it or get dealt with. That's just me and being young in the game and, and putting, you know, my, my testosterone before the hustle. You understand what I mean? But what he was really trying to get me to understand is, you know, there's a way to proceed to talk about chips. He's not telling me that chips cannot be talked about in public. He's saying that the way you go about talking about it has to be seen 
as an overall good. Let me give you a good example. So let's say your boy Freeman is opening up, uh, let's say it's the AG Gas and Hustle, you know. I'm opening up a funeral home, right? And, uh, you know, somebody can come along to your boy Freeman and say, man, you just capitalizing on on black on black crime and all the deaths going around and blah 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 but you know what if if now that we wrap it in the american flag we say you know what instead of me saying yeah you know i'm about my chips man it's a need in the neighborhood partner and you know what i'm saying and i don't care if y'all like it or hate it man i just know this is where the chips are i could come at them on that angle right but instead you wrap it up and say hey you know, I'm providing the services not provided for most African Americans in the neighborhood, and that's a proper burial. It's already a bad time, and people have to go to other groups to get their kids buried properly, and you know, in the proper respect and in the proper, you know, what I'm saying, burial and things like that to make sure people are respected even upon death. Now, you sitting there saying, "Boy, your boy Freeman slick talking," you know, what I'm saying, got got an oil on his tongue, you know, what I'm saying, spitting fire if you light him, you dig? But realistically. It's, it's about smoothing the road. I'm still talking chess partner. You understand what I mean? But if you don't start caring, okay, this is this is number one. You got to care how your words come out your mouth. And I know a lot of people don't care. They saying, I'm just telling them straight. I'm just, you know, some, some people need to be, you know, uh, uh, berated. Some people need to be talking down to us. That's the only way they're going to listen. That's the only way. You know what I'm saying? And, and things like that. But you really got to understand that they're being lazy with their tongue. They're being lazy with their hustle. And ultimately, they're being lazy with their chips. And the main reason why you're being lazy with your chips is because you're actually creating enemies for no reason. You know what I'm saying? The, what I'm trying to get you through this whole rise and grind through the mentality of money is much, much more. I want you to be the soldier, go out there and get your chips, but I want you to also be so smooth to the touch. You understand what I'm saying? Like a baby's butt on this game. I want you to really be about your chips to the point where you just flow through any situation. You know what I'm saying? If we in the streets, we talking chips, I'm saying, hey, you know what? I open up the funeral home and uh, you know what I'm saying? It's employing 30 cats from the hood. You understand what I'm saying? So nobody in their right mind going to go against that. Yes, I'm making money. Chips are going to be lovely. You know what I'm saying? Chips are hoy on the game. But no one's going to be mad at you for saying it that way. No one's going to be mad at you for saying that we're giving proper burial to people who usually are neglected in the game. No one's going to get mad at you for saying that, you know what I'm saying? You, you've seen the way they treat black people, the way they just dumping them up in ditches like they don't care, and you decide to do something about it. All right, all those are wrapping it. You don't have to call it the American flag. That's just a symbol of something to say, hey, if we're talking about bigger subjects, let's say me and you are on the street, I'm saying, hey, I want to help out all black people, right? Someone's going to come along to you and say, man, you know, Freeman, you're a nationalist. You know what I'm saying? Freeman, you want us to do for self to the exclusion of everybody else. Freeman, you want us to have all the money. You want us to be in charge of our neighborhoods. You want us to do this. And then I'm going to say, you damn right, partner. You know what I'm saying? I ain't hiding from that fact. But if I was on the front of a microphone, some of y'all going to laugh and say, you know, what kind of Freeman talking right here? Because I'm going to get on the thing and say, you know, just in the, the history of this great country, there are men that have pulled themselves up by their bootstraps. And in the same essence and feeling of the of the forefathers of this country, and I'm ne they're not my forefathers, partner. Let me throw that in there. But in the same spirit of the, of the American country, of the of the of the I feel like Eddie Murphy on <laughs> one of them shows for the the same feeling you know I can throw out the hustle on somebody and say yo I'm doing this the same reasons that most Americans get up and do it even though it can be focused on black people all right this is what I'm trying to get you because a lot of people you see they pick up the hustle they pick up the money they pick up the game and they don't care you understand what I mean you don't have to really care how you're perceived People going to mistake that from you, but you can, you got to care about what's coming out your chip, I mean, out your mouth, partner, because you can disappear into the, to the cut and be cool for a while. Nobody, nobody asking what, what, uh, Dell computer doing for the neighborhood because he ain't even on TV. So it's two ways. I mean, some of you cats like to come outside and, you know, like I used to say, like a family saying in, in my family, you know, uh, uh, fools rush to the mic. You know, if you ever want to know what a fool looks like, it's the first person that ran to the mic to tell somebody what popped on the street that day. Fools rush to the mic. But if you feel that you're going to have to be in these situations on your way up, and some of you cats are networkers, 
You dig? I ain't a networker. Some of you cats are networking. That's part of your hustle scheme. That's step two in your game. First, I got to get this, and then I got to go network, and then people going to put me on, and then I'm, a, you know what I'm saying, then through all my connections, and then I'm, you know, six degrees of separation on your hustle, the way y'all go about it. I'm just trying to provide you a little bit, because the, the chips in the game is what we all really after. But you don't want to have people, you know, hating you for no reason. You know what I'm saying? You're just building an army of enemies. So when they go along and tell somebody else, they're going to say, man, that dude, that cat right over there, man, he over here doing some, he talking some craziness. And you know what I'm saying? This cat is trying to be super capitalist about the game. And he come in here to rape the neighborhood of chips. And you know what I'm saying? Instead, you want the same person to go over there and say, you know, that cat over there, I think he got the right plan. He trying to, you know what I'm saying, water the plants and, you know what I'm saying, sell the crops. You dig? He trying to, he trying to be a win-win for the neighborhood. He bringing life to the neighborhood. He diverting rivers to the game. You dig? I, I want you to understand that that's what you should be aiming for when you start talking money and the main reason I'm gonna give that to you is because a lot of people man and you're gonna meet them I meet them all the time a lot of people in this game they really go about it like uh, man like they won the lottery or something I don't you know what I'm saying they talk out the side of their neck like the reason why people don't like me is because I got haters no not really partner you know what I'm saying? People probably didn't like you before this. This is the money just made more people hate you, but people probably didn't like you before. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, people start talking down on people like they won the race. You know, like I said, in my life, I always run into the computer dudes. That's why I always call them the computer cats. They always talking like they know exactly what's going on with a computer, but they don't understand what's going on in business. I give you a, a a real hustle to the game one time. I needed some people to do some work for me one time, right? And and they were telling me, you know. I was going to do like a video or something, you know, put it up on YouTube, see if I can generate some hits, you know, make some chips that way. And the person coming along and they're, you know, it's the way it's going to be. This is the way it has to be. This is the way it's done. And then I'm sitting there saying, but you don't understand business. You understand how to work a camera. You understand how to do the set. You understand how to do a lot of stuff, but you don't understand chips. You know what I'm saying? So you always going to run into these people. So you ask, hey, Freeman, you know, how did you handle that situation? And I said, you know, this is what I said. I said, I appreciate the expertise that you bring to the table. But for what I'm asking for, I need you to bring it down another level. I'm not asking for that much expertise. This is a simple thing. It's a simple thing. I need it to look simple. I don't need it to be production quality. I actually need it to be street quality because that will actually add on to the more people who will probably buy it because they think it's much more of a B-side video. You see how I mean how I switched it up to a universal good? I didn't put them down. I didn't tell them that I, I really want to say you don't understand money. And you know you trying to perfect how to, how to shoe uh, insert feel. And I'm telling you I'm trying to sell shoes. You dig? But I mean I could have said that. But that would have demeaned the person. That would have sent them off with the, with the wrong impression. And he would have said, oh man, this cat, he just like everybody else. All he do is he want to make chips. Yes, I do. Okay, I do want to make money. I ain't ashamed of it. You know what I'm saying? Who doesn't whenever they start a business partner? That's just a liar. Or maybe they wrapped it in the American flag. So as we move forward on this, that's what I want to keep in your in your back of your mind because I want y'all to be able to handle situations that most cats are just unable to handle. And the, and the thing that they can't handle is they're lazy with their tongue. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're lazy with their tongue. In the, in the game that they're doing you're going to move up into different levels of people okay you're going to start off at the street level you're going to move up to the middle class level you're going to get up to the upper class level you're going to get you're going to come back down to the middle because you push your products to the middle you're going to be chilling with the upper you're going to come back to the bottom when you go to the grocery store and if you don't know how to change your game partner on all three levels that you may exist on you understand what i mean to change your words and pay attention to the way you are actually perceived you know what I'm saying? Not seen with the eyes, but heard, you know, and being perceived with the ears, partner. How people are interpreting what the game you're putting out there. You know what I'm saying? People are going to, you know, they determine because they don't know. They don't know any better. They didn't read yet. They don't know how to interpret someone by what they built. They interpret people by what they see. This is why a pimp dresses in green and gold. This is why girls dress in pink. This is why girls put on perfume. You got to understand that. The, the, the more the lack of understanding of your brain makes you look at someone and say, man, you know what? From the way he drives to the what he wears, man, that dude about his chips. 
But realistically, any any sucker on the street could have picked that out. So what I'm telling you is overall, even though I'm saying wrap it in the American flag, I'm trying to throw it in the biggest, you know, example that I can give you because I want you to always be about your chips and always think in, in grander terms. Because the, the easier you are, the, the, the more you concentrate on in being invisible. This is the game. The more you concentrate on being invisible to the game, to the point where people don't even question that Burger King, uh, who's the owner of Burger King, he's invisible to the game. You understand what I mean? But Puffy, he got to stay in front of his hustle. He ain't invisible to the game. Uh, Polaroid, Hewlett Packard, AT&T, all these cats make chips, and we all know them. They're invisible to the game. But if they do got to come out, guess what they do? They put a public relations person come out there, and then they put on commercial that say, GE, we bring good things to life, even though GE makes jet engines for engines that bomb little Afghani people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He, he put in the, the American thing of wanting to be protected. You dig what I'm saying? You got to understand this is the way they usually hire a public relations person to do this kind of hustle on you, to, to throw in some misdirection. So you sit back and say, uh, Halliburton is making all kind of chips from the war. And then they come back with a Halliburton commercial saying, we're building neighborhoods. We're, we're building uh, water. We're, we're diverting water into the, to the neighborhood. We're actually building schools because they know that if they put that thing out there, who can disagree with them? If you were to go say, hey, you know what, Halliburton doing crazy things, but if they put a hundred commercials out that kept talking about them building schools, you're going to run into the rest of the people who only believe what they see. So why can't we play this game? Why would your boy Freeman only give you half of the game? Why would I only give you enough for you to, you know what I'm saying, to make it out of from, from five to ten G's? I'm trying to get you from ten to a mil, and then we're going to go from a mil to a bill. You dig? So... What I'm trying to do is give you game that you can practice on right now. You understand what I'm saying? Next time you're in a situation and you're talking about chips, wrap it into the greater good. Wrap it up in the American flag. Wrap it up into, into the best of human nature. Wrap it up in, in, the, in the best of the game. You know what I'm saying? When people talking about football and what football teaches young kids, they didn't tell you that they got a, the lowest, you know, if your son got to maintain above a C average. They ain't don't care if he a dummy, but you know what they're going to say? It teaches them how to be on a team. It teaches them how to, how to take direction. They, everybody's doing this except us. We like to be abrasive because we think we need to go out into this game and actually, you know, chastise cats. And tell them about mine, partner. What you about, right? You think that that makes you feel good. It, you know, we got to run up to the front of cats to their face and make them feel lesser than. You know what I'm saying? We got to call them haters. We got to do all this because nobody taught us how to invisibly own the club and let everybody come and party there. No one taught us how to invisibly, you know what I'm saying, run a company. We think we got to chastise people. So you get on your blogs and you get on your thing and you're calling people's names out. And you're calling. All this shows is that, and this is a weakness, let me tell you, all this shows is that you're not really about your chips. You're not quite there yet, right? Because if you're really about your chips, the ultimate goal of money, of course, is stability and independence, okay? But the second thing is almost to make sure nobody knows you got it so you can walk down the street. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these cats who you see, you know, Branson over at Virgin Airlines and all this stuff, and they live in this life because they want you to see, but actually, he probably breed a little bit of animosity. He should fall back, sit in the back, but he want to speak. And this is, you know, I'm always telling you I'm going to do one called Money and Fame for the podcast, but I got to get my gear together to be able to do that, man. You know what I'm saying? I got to I gotta get the mace, the pepper spray, you know, the baton, you know what I'm saying, the Wonder Woman belt, you know what I'm saying, Batman utility on them, because I got to bring so much to explain that one that I got to give you pieces and tidbits in this one. But understand what I'm really trying to tell you. And what it really is, is what I'm always advocating on a blog. You know what I'm saying? For y'all to go check out the book, uh, uh, you know, check out the book of talking about body language, how to read a person like a book. Um, there's more to the game than chips, partner. There's more to the game than just saying, I, I'm pushing burgers. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I want you to be able to, to silky smooth run to this game. You understand what I'm saying? To the point where you understand it ain't the, the shiny car. It's, it's, the, it's actually the understated one that's going to get you the most chips. 
it ain't it ain't you acting high host it's actually you acting normal that's going to make the people love you you understand what i mean it, it isn't the uh having you know what i'm saying being flamboyant and talking out the side of your neck about how your chips and how other people don't understand the game and how you gotta learn to if you can't because some of you cats are real arrogant and cocky some of y'all really think the world is against you you understand when it comes to this chips and y'all like to wrap your game up and in your in your you know uh captain uh, save a game <laughs> i'm gonna call it the other one for y'all cats who know what i'm talking about but you know what i'm saying that commercial where they say calling all captains that's what that's what some of y'all really are y'all like to put on the cape and about your hustle and talk about that you you crusading against bad or you came here to correct the world or, you know what I'm saying? But really, you cause an animosity. So as I wrap this up for you, as I get to the main point of the hustle, chill for a second and, and rewind the tape about everything that comes out your mouth when you're talking about chips and every social situation, and every business situation. You know what I'm saying? Flip the game around. I'm going to give you a good hustle. That's something I did for my own family. This is just, peep this real quick. My cousin was going, little cousin was going out looking for a job interview. I sat down with her, helped her revamp the resume. And, and when I was talking to her, I said, look, when you talk to people, talk about how it benefits them. Do not talk about how the job is good for you. So talk about how the job location is great and you can work extra hours because it's actually very close to what you already do. Talk about how you always wanted to be in this game and that, you know what I'm saying, that this is something that, you know, it's a good stepping stone and you can see yourself being here for five years. And when they ask you that dumb question, like, where do you see yourself in five years? Just say, you know, possibly I see myself here. I don't know what all the opportunities are. You see how I wrap the hustle up, partner? You see how I'm, 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 I'm spitting game into the ears of people so they can see that, hey, you know what? Yeah, we lying. Okay? But that's the best way people can receive it. Because if we told them the raw, you know what I'm saying? Everybody tune us out. So if you come along, you telling everybody, you know, I'm saying it's chips them, it's raining out here, you know what I'm saying? And I'm throwing diamonds on the stage, so now it's helling on people, you dig? If you out here talking that kind of craziness and thing that people ain't hating, you know, and not hating like hate, like the way people say a hater. I'm talking about really hate you, man, like want to pop you in your head, you know what I'm saying? For being sarcastic and arrogant. If you don't understand that you need to wrap your arguments into the greater good. If you don't understand that you need to wrap your, your point of view into the greater good. You know what I'm saying? Something's going to be done to you, partner. You're going to end up alienating people. And for, like I said, this is really specifically detailed to the cats who really going at this game trying to beat networkers. I ain't no networker. Right? Because I don't like to mingle with people who really ain't going to help me do nothing. And we just sitting here jaw jacking, talking about a round of golf. I don't like all that, man. You know what I'm saying? If we going to chill, we chilling. And I ain't chilling while acting like we talking. Let's just chill, have a beer. You understand what I'm saying? I ain't in all this highfalutin, uh, you know what I'm saying? High society. Let's talk over over uh, uh, biscuits and scones. I ain't, in, I ain't in all that, man. So let me end it the right way, the way I always should be from the way I told you from the beginning. Wrap your game up. Wrap your arguments up. Wrap your life up. Wrap everything in the greater good. You can still have the, the world domination in your head, partner. You can have it in your brain, but you can't express that out loud because you're only building hate. Real hate. Not that rap hate, real hate, real cats coming to get you, real cats when they come around the corner and they see that you coming to do something that's actually going to make money, these cats going to get in your way because your, your big mouth preceded the hustle. You understand what I'm saying? So wrap everything you've got in the American flag. Wrap it in the greater good. Everything, partner. Anything that can cause the problems, and you know it when you come out your mouth, find out what the root is. Find out what, what, what is universal about the whole game for everybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting these computers for $100. I'm shipping them over to, you know, Ghana, and they're paying $300. And you know what, man? I'm making 200% off what I do. Right? And then everybody say, man, if you're around some cats with some chips in their pocket, they say, man, that's a great hustle. If you're around cats who don't got no chips in their pocket, they're going to say, this, this cat over here is greedy. So how do we revamp that? Man, I'm taking these computers over here that I'm getting at everybody that's garden. I'm sending them to Ghana. I'm helping the cats, the brothers over there in Ghana to have a better education. I'm sending them stuff that they probably would never get. You understand what I'm saying? And then everybody going to look at your boyfriend and say, 
Man, that brother right there, he he a good he a good brother. Now I can be as evil as Hitler on this game, but they gonna say I never put out anything for them to build on. You understand? I only put out what is the greater good. Think about that as we move forward. Some mentality of money, your boy Freeman, rise and grind and wrap it up in the American flag.